Do you need to optimize video footage to be displayed on a specific device? I can show you how using the canvas option inside the InShot video editor. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you're looking for technology tips, tricks, and tutorials, you've come to the right place. If you find this video helpful, subscribe. This is the fifth video in my InShot Video Editor app tutorial series. If you'd like to watch the other videos to get caught up, keep an eye out for the YouTube card on screen later in the video. You can also check out the recommended playlist in the description below. The canvas inside the InShot video editor refers to how the video looks. This is sometimes referred to as aspect ratio. In other words, is the video going to be displayed on a monitor, on a phone, on an iPad, or on a TV? Using InShot, you can change this easily. Let's open the InShot app and get started. As you can see right now, there is no frame, but the first time you load in a video clip, there may be one. When I select the first frame option, you can see the standard blurred background is added. Depending on the orientation of the video clip, I don't always like this effect. So I'm going to add a custom background that will make the video clip easier to see. Also, if we take away the blur, the background just looks like two video clips, one on top of the other. I really don't like this. If you tap the photo icon, you can add a custom background. I'll do a separate video on backgrounds later in the series. Swipe over and select the Canvas option from the bottom of this screen. Now you can change the canvas. Just tap each of the canvas options. There's 4x5 for Instagram, 16x9 which is appropriate for YouTube, 9x16, appropriate for IGTV, 9x16, there's a couple of iPhone options, 9x16, the standard 4x3, and quite a few more. Choose the option that looks best to you. You can use the arrows to the left and right of the slider to move the video clip up or down inside the frame. We're appropriate. Because I'm going to upload this video to YouTube, I'm going to select 16 by 9. Use the slider to zoom the video in or out so you can see the background. Tap the check mark in the bottom right hand corner to make your selection. To save the completed video, tap the share icon and tap save. Processing will begin. As usual, don't exit the app, let the screen turn off, or switch between apps while this is happening. If you do, the video may not save properly. When processing is complete, you'll find the saved video inside your video library. Let's take a look at the completed clip. Do you want to know how to adjust the canvas using the InShot video editor? I can show you how. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, 
and tutorials. Coming up in this series, I'll show you how to remove the audio from a video clip using a recent trick I just learned. If you have a problem with any part of this process, leave a comment below so I can help you. Don't forget to click that thumbs up if you liked the video. Please feel free to check out some of my other videos suggested on screen. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.